Hi guys, got another idea for one of these 3D printed boat hulls that I produced or printed the other day. This time I printed some gears. I'm going to try and make myself a little gearbox that's going to go on the back there, propeller sticking out this way, and rubber band. on that side. Don't know if it'll work, it's just something I sort of dreamed up and uh, printed. I need to work on that because that's not fitting quite right. I need to trim that off a little bit at the front. And I need to bend up some bits of wire to uh, act as axles and that. So I'll have a go at that, we'll come back in a minute. Right, so that one is fixed on that gear. That one is free spinning on the central hub there, and that one is a softer bit of wire that I've bent round into a hook. So that's for the rubber band to go on to. And that axle just dropped right the way through, so clearly it's a loose fit and that one's nice and tight on there. So that's got to go over there. And then I need a propeller to go on there. I should think a relatively large one. So that it slows the rubber band down. So that, that's um, a one-to-one -one gearing. There's no up or down gearing now. It's just straight through. All the gears are the same number of teeth. We will get water in there. But I'm not too worried. This is just for a proof of concept. It's quite clear. Right, these are some propellers I did for something, a different project. They're a little bit smaller than I had in mind. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do the winding up yet, whether to do it from this end. Turn that way. Ah, they're all. Oh, that's the other way. Let's just put that on there so we can. Right, I have to put that on there properly. So we can just test whether it's going to turn the right direction. So I want to wind this up this way. I haven't glued this in place or anything yet, so I'm just testing. the wrong way. I had the right propellers to begin with. Right, okay, we'll put that one on there. Right, I've taken off the winder that I put on that end. So we're just going to wind the propeller backwards by hand which will take quite a while. And 
and then we'll just let it go. It's only a short rubber band motor, so it's not going to go very far. Probably put it outside in the water, but... There we go. Okay, we'll wind that up and try it in the pond. A uh, pool, water butt, that's what we're going to use. <laughs> well, it worked. I might have to try it slow-mo. Well, summary time, it works. Um, it's given me a few ideas. It looks like I could very easily stick an electric motor on there at the top, drive it like an outboard motor. And then the other thought I've had is a much bigger propeller so it turns slower because that's clearly turning that very easily. So it could take a bigger propeller and last a little bit longer. But uh, yeah, happy with that. A rubber band powered 3D printed boat. I don't think I'll bother putting the um, files on public though, because it's really not finished. It works as it is, but it needs more development. If you want the files, you'll have to let me know in the comments.